Welcome back, everybody. My name is All Funny Games. I stream every day on Twitch TV, and I also make fun little videos here on YouTube. The question that recently got asked to me was, can you please tell me how to find the lunar biome? I have no idea where to find it, and I want to find out where it is. Well, of course, if you watch some of my videos, I try to make them pretty quick for these beginner guides because I think that for me, I just like to get straight to the point. This might take a few seconds to kind of explain, but I think once you kind of get the gist of it, you'll pretty much understand. Now, normally what I do in my VODs is I would do a map reveal, which will showcase everything. And I think for this case specifically, it'll help identify why the worlds look like this. And let's get into it and go from there. This will actually showcase how to find other interesting things out there. So just keep that in mind. When you do see this, there's going to be multiple things out at sea because Don't Serve Together, aka Clay, has done a great job at giving us more content out at sea. So without further ado, let's start out by just talking about how to get to the Moon or Island and actually find out where it is. So in the normal world, you would spend days on days on days basically mapping out the outside of the world. Eventually down the road, your map would not look like this, but it would have a bunch of basically fog of war around here on the edges. From there, you'd have to pick and choose and ask yourself the questions, where do I sail? Well, normally when you decide to sail out to sea, you kind of want to know exactly where you're going before you decide to make a gigantic boat and basically jump on it and go out there. Because as time goes on, you want to make sure that you get yourself to the moon island as fast as you can. And especially with me, I don't like using a boat. I would prefer playing as Woody for the first little bit, getting myself three seeds, and getting myself three monster meat and basically turning myself into a little were moose and or sorry were moose a uh, were goose and just literally running out there and going all the way there picking up my stone fruits and coming right back but that's just me everybody has their own formality of what they want to do but like i said that's the fastest way of doing it but i'll leave that for another video anyways so Let's talk about this. When you look outside the map, what do you see that kind of looks familiar? Well, it looks like somebody has basically took a bit of scissors and cut out the areas where we're going. But as going around the map, you kind of see a similarity depending on where you're looking. And there's a reason for this. The reason for this specifically is none other than Clay has added more content. So the areas that look like these biomes have basically just haltered and or halted and stopped and been cut off have now been attached with other biomes, which you can kind of see. Now, each of these areas have little mangroves and these areas have the monkey islands. So you're going to see multiple different things now that kind of resemble this. The difference in this pattern, though, is the situation where in between where you would see these cutoffs, you're not seeing seen any rock formations in between the lunar biomes except for in certain cases like this so what does that mean well if you decide that you want to go and try to find the Moonar Island, your best bet is basically when you have the fog of war around here to eventually look for said spots. The areas that almost look like your character is going to run along an edge that's kind of jagged. Or sometimes, if you're really lucky, they'll look like they're completely cut to shreds, as in like literally a straight line, like said this. And the reason for that is because the biomes over here have been generated and basically the way the world map does it. So... If you do happen to see these edges, one thing to look forward to is if you go in that direction and there's no rocks, you're most likely going towards where the lunar biome is. And let's do this again, just to showcase in case somebody's like, mm, I don't believe you. So as we regenerate the world, we're basically going to do the same command. I'm going to map reveal again. This time I'm going to look inwards as if I'm not even looking outwards and just trying to make a perfect guess. Of course, if I'm wrong, well, whatever. But nonetheless, this will kind of showcase how each generation potentially will work. Keep in mind, everybody whose map generates different, so don't don't kind of take this to heart and say, well, my map doesn't look like this and it doesn't look the same as yours. Every generation is completely different. I just want to showcase how you can basically find it, especially if you were going through the process of having a bunch of fog of war around there and you want to just quickly jump on there and go out to sea. Now, if you decide to watch my next video about showcasing on how to get Woody to go out to sea, well, feel free to do that because keep in mind, as a were goose happens, you do have plenty of time to actually go out on sea and pretty much explore quite a lot. But you have a limited time, so you don't really want to spend too much time out there. Okay. So as we can see again, just ju just by judging like where things are, you can kind of see where these little biomes are cut off. And this is actually showcasing where, of course, little Pearl Pearl's Island is. But as we can see, there's rock formations. We travel down here now and see the same situation, jagged edges inside of the inside of the desert. And sure enough, here we go. We have inside the oasis a cutoff, which 
doesn't have any rock formations in between, and that's where the lunar biome is. We take a little step over, same situation, looks like somebody took a little straight scissors and cut it out, and then same over here, no rocks in between, and that's where the lunar biome is. And as we venture around, we see the same situation as a gigantic cut has been taken out, there is no rocks in between here. So hypothetically, if I were to actually travel around, I might even consider actually going from here and saying, hey, it's possible the lunar biome's over here because there is no rocks in between. If I did go in between and I did, if I, if I did encounter some rocks, I most likely would go back to land and restart to where I'm, where I'm going from. So like I said, rinse and repeat this method until you essentially find out any little area. So for, for example, you might get lucky and find a mangrove. You might get lucky and find where... Um, where is the actual monkey island? Do, 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 Somewhere around you. I thought I'd just seen it. There you go. You might get lucky and see more jagged edges and find yourself the monkey island. But nonetheless, when you find these jagged edges surrounding your world, you're going to most likely find some sort of biome. That's obviously what you're looking for. Once again, jagged edges, and now you have more stuff sitting out at sea, and so on and so on and so on. And as you can see here, there's nothing in between here. But as soon as we get to the straight edge, there's another thing there. There's it's just endless. This is essentially how clay has basically made it so things that spawn out on the water is essentially going to kind of tell you on land to say, hey, look, this is not how it's meant to be. So feel free to kind of look for that. So when you see the jagged edges, you generally will know that there's a biome out there. It's not guaranteed to be the lunar biome. So just be cautious with that. As I've seen, obviously, situations where people are like, oh, there's a jagged edge. There must be the lunar biome out there. Go out there and see. And like, no, it's, a, it's not like that at all. So that's why it's always beneficial for if you can have a wood in the server to just run out there find out where it is and kind of take it from, from there i find it's very useful to have a wood in the server early on so i usually like to be the person to do so but of course everyone likes to kind of venture out on their own accord so feel free to do that but just remember if you're going out there and you find rocks, chances are you're probably in the wrong direction and most likely not approaching the Moon Island. But as you can see, every world generation is separate. So if you decide that you want to go that route and you say, hey, you know what, I'm going to go there and I do find rocks, well, keep exploring because you might find something else that you're interested in. For example, like I said, the mangroves or the monkey island or whatever you might be wanting to find. Nowadays, when it comes to exploring out at sea and don't starve together, it kind of makes sense to actually just continue the exploration, but you just don't want to be wasting too much time trying to find the lunar island. And that's why I mentioned it's the fastest way is by doing it through Woody. And if you watch my next video, I'll showcase how quick it could actually be to find. So we're going to go ahead and do that in the next one. So thanks again for watching. I hope this video helped you out. And there's plenty of other videos showcasing it as well. I'd like to obviously to give a huge shout out to uh, Jazzy Starves as he does a great job of basically explaining start to finish on how to locate these things and I think it's become well known pretty much from like multiple different streamers and YouTubers on how to actually find this. I just wanted to showcase it because I've had a lot of people ask me so feel free to go out there and experiment yourself because you might find a better routine or a better or a better thing that works out for you but nonetheless just look out for the jagged edges and no rocks in between and chances are you're going to find that Mooder Island. Thanks th Mooner Island. <laughs> that Moon Island. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.